Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go over a few extra things that you can add to your screen. I'm going to go over how to add a win and lose screen and as well as how to add sound. I don't think I'll have time to go over how to add game edges. So if you want to figure out how to add game edges, then I think that will probably be in the next video. All right. So let's let's go ahead and start with how to add a win or lose screen. Before we get started, make sure that you have those sprites already coded into your program. Uh, I did this at the very beginning. So I created my game over screen and my you win screen and I set the visibility to false. So make sure you have that at the beginning of your program and you set the visibility to false. So let's go ahead and go down to create our functions that will help us show our win and lose screens. Okay, uh, I need a comment here. Now, when, um, actually, no, let me just do this. Yeah, when, win and lose screen. There's so many different ways to do this, so I always have trouble trying to decide what approach to show you because they're longer, more like you can think about it more easily in longer ways, or you can use functions and make it shorter and simpler. But let's do this way. So we're going to make a function and we're going to call it uh, windscreen or I'm going to call it windscreen. And when my score reaches a specific value, then I want the windscreen to appear. So I'm going to say if score is greater than and you can choose your point value for the purpose of testing it and making sure it works, I'm going to use a low value. So I'm going to say if my score is greater than all right, so if my score is greater than two, then I want my sprite that says you win to appear. So I need to grab that visibility block. And I think I called that sprite you win. Whatever you called it, you have to go back up and check, but make that true. So if you don't remember, go back up to your sprites. What did you call that picture? Yeah, I called mine you win. All right, maybe you just called it win. Uh, whatever you called it, that's what you call it here. All right, a reminder, the function names, the green portion, the function names are different than your sprite names. Anywhere you see the red, that's referring to your sprite, All right? Anywhere you say the green, that's referring to the function, All right? So those, those may not necessarily be the same name. So once you have that, you can go ahead and go to your draw function and call the windscreen function. Right here, functions win screen so that tells the computer hey i created this function go use it so now when i get two uh, more than two points so three points you should see win screen now notice my score it keeps changing three four that's because the only thing i did is the the screen changed but i didn't stop anything so my game is actually still going on in the background so if you want to stop your elements that you need to add those blocks in here and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a function called stop everything because we want to stop everything when we win and we want to stop everything when we lose. So that way I don't have to type that code two times. I just make it once and I just call the function. So I'm going to add a function right above this called stop everything. So when I stop everything, I primarily want to stop my items. So I'm going to stop my, uh, actually, I want to stop my player. So let's stop our player from moving. So I need a, the velocity in the X direction to be zero and the velocity in the Y direction to be zero. I also want my items to stop. All right. So I need, I have three items. So I'm going to add that here. Item one, item two, item three. Zero, zero, zero. Uh, I spelled this wrong. Item one, right? If you have platforms, if you want your platforms to stop as well, then you would add that in here. If you're fine with your platform still continuing because that doesn't change your like point value or anything, then you can. Uh, for the purpose of stopping everything, I'm just going to stop my platforms as well. Platform one, zero. Platform two. So this is going to stop everything on my screen that's moving around. So whenever I win the screen, I need to call this function. So let's add one more block in here. Call the stop everything function. 
the solid one. Stop everything. Oh, yes, I did. I forgot. See, there we go. Stop everything. I can stop. <laughs> so now I shouldn't shouldn't see that my score. Ah, hold on. I need to get. It might change. No, it shouldn't change. Okay, let's see. Oh no, no, no! I'm trying to get. I'm trying not. To, I'm trying to avoid the the red star. There we go. Yay! So everything should have stopped. Yes. Nothing changes. Ta-da! And you would do the same thing for your lose screen. So let's go ahead and add the lose screen. So my function lose. Hello. Please respond. Okay. Lose screen. So if my score goes below a certain value, right? If my score goes below a certain value. And again, I'm just testing my stuff out. So once I'm done with my game, I can change these values. So just for the purpose of testing, we're going to use a negative one. That way I can test it quickly. All right. So if my score is less than negative one, then I want the visibility of my lose screen. Where's my visible block here? I think I called it game over to be true. And I need to call the stop everything function. Stop everything. Again, this is my sprite for game over screen. I called it game over. So if you called it something else, you can call it something else. But that's this name here for my game over screen. All right. So we have our lose screen function. All we need to do now is call the function inside of our draw loop. So going up to our draw loop, bam, draw loop. And we need to call the function lose screen. And it should work if I get less than negative one. I'm trying to avoid the positive ones, but I'm trying to get the negative. Here's my other red star. Bam. Game over. Ah. Yeah. Now you can make your game over screen and your lose screen, whatever you want, right? I simply found something online. And to make that blinking effect, all I did was I um, added a new frame. So initially it was just this. I added a new frame, draw my own, and then I colored the screen black. That way it goes back. You can color it a different color if you want, maybe red, and it looks red, right? It's up to you. That's just all I did to make that blinking effect. <clears throat> but there you go. You have a win screen and a lose screen, and now you can change the values uh, so that you can see how it works or for your real game. Uh, if you want to add sound, so adding sound, it depends on where you want to add sound. If you want to add sound to like the background of your game, you would add the sound up uh, on the outside of your draw function. So click, go to world, play sound. And here you uh, grab this little drop down, click on the choose. Uh, I think you can record, upload files as well and record your audio. So you could do that or you can find something in their sound library. So I'm just going to look for music. I don't think you'll be able to hear. Oh, I don't know if you. I don't know if you'll be able to hear the sound coming out of my computer, but just follow the same steps, and you should. It should work. So I'm going to use. Sure, I'll do this. Now, if you're going to do it on the outside of your game, so uh, on the outside of the draw loop, so that there's always sound playing while your game is running, make sure that you change this to true. So that once the sound, the, the time on the sound is over, it plays the sound again. Okay. Um, so that would be one place. You just, you just put it there. And I don't think you, I, I wouldn't need, I'm going to have to watch this video back to know if you can hear the sound that I'm hearing through my headphones. But there it is. You should hear a sound if you do that. You can also do, instead of that, you can also do sounds when you grab an item. All right, so if you want to do sounds when you grab an item, you can go down to your collect items function or whatever you called it, right? Collect items. So if the player touches the item, it'll change the score, reset the item, but you can also play a sound here. So I would grab this one. If my player touches item one, if my player touches item two, maybe these could be like positive sounds because they're positive points and I could make the third sound like a negative, like, ah, like, you know, so 
I would just go in here, change the sound that I want, right? You can look through, you can get a bell, collect, right? Just go through the categories, find the sounds that you like. Uh, I guess I'll do the collect one. Collect link, yeah. Sure, I'll do that one. And I'll do the same one for this one. Collect link. Sure. And I need one that's like meh, because this one's a uh, negative, negative points. Hmm. If you can hear the sounds and they're loud, I apologize. I don't know if you can hear the sounds through my headphones. I'm trying to find one that's like a meh. I guess maybe this first one. Yeah, I'll do this first one. Cool. So now when I grab an item, I should hear the sounds. <laughs> I can hear. I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can, you can hear it. If you can't, then you sh through my, my computer, but you should be able to hear it through your computer when you do it for your game. All right. So there's that, a little extra stuff. Um, you can also add sounds when you win, right? If you want there to be like a celebratory sound when you win, you would just add that here. If the score is greater than two, you make you make it visible and you um, add a sound, right? Um, you can also stop sound. Maybe you have your ongoing sound at the beginning. Uh, maybe you have a background sound. When your game is over, you might want to stop that sound. So for example, here is, I'm gonna add a loop. I'm gonna do, I'll do this one, faltering. All right, do that one. Uh, I need to make it true so that it loops that, that track. And then when I win or when I lose, I would want to stop the sound. Or not, honestly, it's up to you. These are just a bunch of extra options that you have, all right? So then I would click stop sound. And I need to find the same sound that I had chosen. Oops. So if I win, my sound should stop. And the sound stops, right? All right. Again, a bunch of extra stuff that you can add. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it from my stuff because I don't want, actually, I kind of like this. It's just a little loud. I wish I could change the volume on this. I'll keep that, but I'm gonna delete the sound in the background. All right. uh, I hope some of this helps to make your game a little more interesting. Uh, and I'm gonna go over adding uh, game borders, game edges, I guess, in the next video, because I'm at 13 minutes and I only have 15 minutes, so I know I'm gonna run out of time. If, you, if there's anything else you want me to go over, send me a message on Schoology, let me know in class, and I will try and make a video for it. But again, I'm super excited to see your games come together and to play them and for you to see them. Um, but if you need any help, send me a message on Schoology. Goodbye, everybody.